Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Back when dinosaurs roamed the earth, my dad would buy vinyl and cassettes of the Rolling Stones. And he would play the cassettes whenever he was in the car and the vinyl whenever he was at home all through the weekend. With the advent of cassettes, they became popular because they were made to play music in a car. But this is where a big issue in the music industry started. The ability to make illegal copies of music. Because cassettes could be copied. The 80s and 90s brought newer trends. And we switched from vinyl and cassettes to CDs and even DVDs. The artists made fortunes with millions of their CDs and cassettes were bought by their fans globally. But again, these were very easy to make copies of and sell illegally. The late 90s and 2000s brought a whole new world. This is when digital audio formats came into being and the music industry saw new heights in piracy due to platforms like Napster and LimeWire. Then came iTunes, YouTube, Spotify, and other similar platforms. These platforms introduced emerging talents and music lovers were able to listen to their old songs. But of course, people are still able to illegally download almost any song they want in a matter of seconds. So what does this have to do with blockchain? Well, as I've mentioned, vinyl, cassette, CDs, and audio streaming, all of these services help the artists earn royalties. Mariah Carey wrote her legendary All I Want for Christmas in the 90s, and she is still earning millions of dollars every year in royalties. The issue arises when people illegally pirate a song or album and loot its loyalties. Yes, I'm talking about torrent sites and other sources to stream music illegally. It's unjust to the artists who spent a great deal of time and money on it. Blockchain technology has a decentralized framework that can counter this issue. Whether an artist wants to sell their concert tickets or to make sure that all the people involved in their song team are paid correctly. And blockchain would be the key. So let's have a look at some of the ways that blockchain is transforming the music industry. As always, if you have any questions or if you could think of any more examples, let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoy this video or find it interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Let's jump into it. Now, as we've discussed, this is an important one, and that is eradicating piracy. Piracy is like a disease in the music industry. The music industry has suffered heavy damages due to people pirating someone's artistry and making huge money off of it themselves. The music industry has been constantly on edge, and a large part of it still is. And the reason is that there is no technology that can prevent content from being pirated and stolen. No regulatory authority is appropriately addressing the loopholes inside the system. Piracy is so easy that even kids can do it in a matter of seconds. Back when Napster became a thing, I remember everyone would use Napster to get free access to songs. And this became so normalized to the point that people could illegally download videos, convert them into an audio format, and then pirate them by either storing them in their computer or put them on their websites. Blockchain has the potential to provide an imminent end to music piracy, as well as ticket scalping, which is where people buy large amounts of tickets to resell them at a higher price, which isn't fair to the fans or the artist who isn't cashing in on that either. With blockchain, all sales and ownership of tickets and music would be verifiable and also lets fans know that they're buying from a legit product source. Another way blockchain is transforming the music industry is through smart contracts. Smart contracts are agreements that would govern an artist's terms with the music label, band, manager, album, and the whole team. This intelligent contract would define how much of the royalties and earnings each team member will get. It will also ensure that no contributing member is left unpaid and that all of them get paid immediately. A big issue is that often music labels wouldn't pay the band or artists on time, creating a huge mess. A transparent smart contract would instantly pay all the receiving parties, and that's the problem solved. Another way blockchain is transforming the music industry, essentially metadata 2.0. And what this is, is blockchain technology that would ensure that no one can alter the data on a record. So for example, no one can claim the right to My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. It's hers and she and her music label and publishing hold the rights for it. Blockchain would immediately store the data in its decentralized system as ledgers and fill out the missing information. Each person involved in the song gets the recognition that they deserve. It will also bring forth a mechanism that would help identify the rightful owners of the music record to be paid the royalties that they deserve. 
This technology will save many artists from spending their time in legal battles with their labels. And blockchain will provide a standard method for content ownership that each company has to abide by. Another way blockchain is helping to transform the music industry is by instant royalty access. Usually it takes about a year or two for an artist to monetize their royalties and earn profit from their albums. Big names might not have an issue with this, but the smaller artists can be badly affected by this slow payment process. By implementing blockchain technology, it could help end this waiting period. As soon as the song hits the charts, the artist can start to enjoy their royalties, which means no wait, just some straight profits. Then there's also the potential for more exposure to new talents. Blockchain technology is paving a way for new and independent artists. It will help them copyright their work and distribute it to get better engagement amongst their audiences. Blockchain could be used to help emphasize building a community that would help artists in creating more content. And an example of an initiative being taken is something like a GoFundMe for singers. In this model, fans would financially support their favorite emerging talents. So apart from selling merchandise and doing concerts, this is a way of supporting local artists that would help them a lot. The peer-to-peer -peer transparent transfer of tokens or music coins would eliminate any third party involved and ensure that the artists receive 100% of their revenues. A new blockchain-based method is also in its initial process, where the fans would be asked to invest in music royalties. As soon as the royalties start to rise, a particular fan would start to gain money from it, considering how much that they invested. So essentially what this means is that music could now become a stock exchange between the artists as well as fans and investors. And apart from money, the investors can also gain collectibles like customized badges, non-fungible tokens, special concert discounts, and many other perks. And that brings us to the last point on our list on how blockchain is transforming the music industry, and that is the fan reward. New blockchain-based projects are being talked and started that would help fans earn some money as well. These projects would allow fans to create personalized playlists from their favorite artists. And if the playlist becomes a hit, then the fans can earn some money in return as royalties. Major music companies are exploring new ways to lessen the distance between both the artist and their fans. This will help create a vast fandom where fans would engage with their favorite artists in ways that weren't possible before. Pitbull came forward with an idea to create a decentralized streaming platform based on blockchain. This music streaming platform would pay the listeners as well for every second of the song that they listened to. The idea was to create a huge fan base by bribing the listeners a little bit. Another idea was BitSong, which is a blockchain based system as well. A user can donate tokens to any indie artist and they can also purchase a song, like purchase the song. So imagine owning a hit song. So what does the future hold? The way blockchain is revolutionizing the music industry is epic. Significant developments are happening, and I'm happy to see that finally artists would get what they deserve. Although, I believe it's gonna take some time for blockchain to take over the music industry, but patience is key. Until then, I hope that you're not pirating any music and you actually listen to the artists on their legal streaming platforms and are buying their music and albums so that they can get the appropriate royalties that they deserve. So there we have it. There are six ways that blockchain is transforming the music industry. As always, if you still have any questions or can list any more examples, let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video or found it interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.